Hey guys, in this Smartsheet automation training video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an approval process that will go out automatically. Let's dive in. All right, let's go ahead and set up our approval process. And before we get into the automations, just something to keep in mind, I've added a column here called Vice President, and we're gonna make John Hancock the Vice President. All right, so we're gonna set up an automation where when certain criteria is met, maybe based on status, that the person who approves it or denies it will be the Vice President. All right, let's go to our automations. It's gonna be on the top left of your sheet where it says Automations. We're gonna go ahead and create from scratch. And let's give our automation a title, VP Approve or Deny. Again, you can call this whatever you want. This is just for your own uh, record. We want to name this VP Approve or Deny. All right, so the first things first is the trigger. Think of like a boulder on the top of a hill. In order for that boulder to keep rolling down the entire mountain, someone or something has to trigger it, has to first give it a little kick, a little kick in the pants, and push it down the hill. All right, so our trigger is going to be when rows are changed. When rows are changed. And maybe I want the trigger to be when certain criteria is met. Maybe it's when the status hits a certain point. So let's choose our column called status. Again, these are all the columns in the sheet. We'll go to status. And let's choose when it goes to ready for sign off. Ready for sign off. So I'm just going to check that. Now let's set our action. So we got all our, our actions here. So let's go to request and approval. It's just simply approve or deny. All right, so the first thing it's going to ask you is, do you want to send it to a specific person? Does it by default? Or do you want to send it to a contact in the cell? Now the difference here is a specific person will always be this person no matter what, whoever I choose or multiple people, whoever I choose. But we don't want that because maybe the vice president, maybe you have more than one vice president or more than one person who um, approving in their department. So we want to be whoever is in the vice president column. So instead of this option, we're going to click here and we're going to choose a second option, send a contact in a cell. So we're going to open this up. It's going to pull up all the contact columns. We want to choose vice president. Whoever is living in the vice president column, that's who we want approving or denying. So we'll check that. And then you can actually choose to save the response in a uh, column that already exists in the sheet, or the sh automation will automatically create a new column that will, going forward, capture all of the approvals or denials. And if this part seems a little confusing, no worries. Um, once you see the automation go into action, it'll make a little more sense. So I'm just going to choose the first option by default. Vice President Approval, which is going to be a new column. It's going to house his answer or her answer. All right, we'll customize the message. Again, any automation that goes out, the person receiving that automation, that alert, will both receive a smart sheet alert and an email. So this is what the subject and the body of both that smart sheet alert and that email will look like. And before I get into this section right here, Let's go and choose a specific field that they want that we want them to see. By default, it shows all the fields, but we don't want a shotgun and send everything in the kitchen sink at them. We we'll only want to send specific things so we're not wasting anybody's time. We don't need to choose vice president because the vice president themselves knows who they are. And choose that. There we go. Those are the options. All right, now as you notice here, these are, um, again, the column names. You can actually put the column information both in the subject and the body of the messaging. For instance, we can say project and then double squiggly brackets project name. Is ready for your approval or denial. Okay, 
So what, you're like, Justin, what the heck? What is this all about? Well, what Smartsheet will do is if you take any one of these columns, or any column for that matter within this sheet, and you take the column header exactly how it's spelled out in the column header, and you put it inside two squiggly brackets, closed in two squiggly brackets, it will actually pull in that project name that's in that row. Now I know, again, I know you're thinking, okay, well, that makes no sense to me. Again, we'll run a test and we'll make more sense. So let's go ahead and put in here, please approve or deny the project project name, whatever that project name is gonna be in that row. And we'll leave it simple like that for this test. All right, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you need an action item if they approve it and an action item if they decline it. So we'll start with the approval. So I'm just gonna click on the green plus here. We'll add an action. So if they approve it, maybe I want to alert the PM. And as you notice here, you can build automation upon automation. It can just keep going. So if it's approved, we wanna alert the PM. So I don't wanna send to a specific person. I wanna to send to somebody in the contact. Let's choose who's ever in the PM row. And we'll give it a title here. VP has approved project project name. And maybe we just want to give them the message only. They don't need the entire information. All right. And maybe even build this off further. We'll add another automation, add action. And I know I'm stretching it here a little bit, but hang in there with me. Maybe we want to change the cell value so that when it's approved, the status is automatically now changed to complete. So what's happening here is when the row changes and the criteria is when status changes to ready for sign off, who's ever in the, in the vice president row will get an automation to approve or deny that project. And if they approve it, the PM gets alerted, hey, the VP has approved the project and the status will automatically change to complete. It's all automated. Now the last thing here is we need to choose something if the VP declines it. So click here, add action. Maybe we wanna notify the PM. Again, we don't wanna send a specific person. We wanna choose a contact in the cell. We wanna notify the PM this time VP has denied project, project name, whatever the project name is in that row. And maybe just to receive a message. And maybe the status now goes back a step. Change cell value, choose status, and maybe instead of ready for sign off, we go back to in progress. All right, so let's go ahead and click save. Oh, we need a body in the message here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this, paste it for the body, and we'll click save. All right, so let's go back to our sheet really fast before we run our test. So what should happen, what should happen is we should receive a message in our test that says project applesauce, that's the project name, project applesauce, with the PM as Justin Arezio, will be sent to the VP, John Hancock, to approve or deny the request. If John Hancock approves it, the status should automatically be changed to complete. If John Hancock denies it, then the status will go back to in progress. Now the trigger to start this whole approval process is the status has to be changed to ready for sign off. Because remember, if we go back to our automation, go to manage now, and we go to our, our automation here, you can just double click into it. The trigger is ready for sign off. 
And as you notice here, the last thing, there's a column here that will capture either if it's been approved, declined, or initially submitted. It will capture all the answers from whoever the VP is. All right, let's go ahead and run a test. Now when I run this test, I'm going to act as, now my name is Justin Arazio, so I want the alert to go to myself, not John Hancock. So let's go and run a test. To do that, we're going to go back to automation, manage automation, go to the one we just created right here, and oop, I got one, two, I forgot to add three. See how I named each one here for easy reference? Double click in here, put three. Click save. All right, let's run our test. We're going to hover our mouse on number three, VP approve or deny. We're going to go to the three dots on the top right right here. We're going to click here. We're going to do test now. We're, we don't want to trigger the entire sheet, just a specific row. So we're going to click here. We want row number two, Project Applesauce. And instead of sending it to the vice president, I want to send it to myself. So I'm going to act as if I'm the PM and if I'm the vice president. All right, let's go and click Run Workflow and see what happens. All right, instantly, see how this changed right here? It says submitted. That means the VP just received an approval or denial request, so it's been submitted. And because technically I'm the VP in the test, I should receive an email and an alert. So let's look at our Smartsheet alert, which you can find right here. And here is the approval request. So I'm going to click in here to open it up. It says project project applesauce is ready for your approval or denial. Now remember we took we took project name and put it in double squiggly brackets. What it did is it went looked at project name in a double squiggly brackets and it pulled the name project applesauce. So that's right right here it says project applesauce. Please approve or deny, again, Project Applesauce. All right, here's the project name, the PM. Now, I'm not doing anything with any of this information. All I'm doing, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, is I'm approving or declining. Approving or declining. So if I click Approve, remember here, if I click Approve, then the status should automatically change to Complete. If I decline it, then it should change back to In Progress. All right, so let's go ahead and approve it. That's been approved. And because I'm also the PM, I should also receive an alert. So let's go and refresh it. All right, and as you notice here, the status now says complete because it's been approved. And as the PM, I also got a message, hey, VP has approved the project Applesauce. Hey guys, real quick, if you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are, I show you a brief description how to use them, and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet, it's all yours, I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this video. All right, Real, just for kicks and giggles, let's go and run it in real time and maybe this time I'm going to decline it. I'm going to decline it. So, let's go ahead and move this back to in progress. I'll make myself the vice president and myself the PM. Let's click Save. Let me delete this entry here. Click Save again. All right, we're going to run a real, a real live automation here. So the, again, the trigger is for the status to change to ready for sign off. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to click Refresh.
All right, since I'm the vice president, I should have received an alert. Click on the alert here. I'll look at right here, top one. Project is ready for approval or denial. So maybe I want to decline it this time. So if I decline it, then what should happen is status should change back to in progress and it should say declined right here. And because I'm also the PM, I'm going to receive a message that the project has been declined. All right. So I'm the VP right now, acting VP. Click on notification. Open up the approval or decline. Click decline. Close this. Close this. See right here, automatically says declined. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. And notice that the status went back a step back to in progress because it got declined. And because I'm also the PM, last but not least, I should receive a messaging that we created earlier saying that the VP has declined it. Oh, here it is right here. I clicked on the wrong one. VP has denied my project. All right, there it is. And that is how you set up an approval or denial process automation. I know this one is a little bit longer than usual, and I kind of stretched your brains a little bit, adding a few more automations, but I hope that this video tremendously helps you. And as always, take care and God bless, and I will see you in the next training video.